Hello you guys, this is Jimena from the future because the video you're about to watch is actually a video I had in my drafts that I never got around to finish editing but it was filmed in August of 2023 and I know I'm just now uploading it but it was honestly so much fun to film and so much fun to edit as well. I really enjoyed making this video and I'm going on another trip super soon so stay tuned for that video but i hope you enjoy and thank you guys so much for watching so let's get right into it i love this summer fridays lip butter balm it's the vanilla beige it's like my go-to i always keep it in my bag hello guys welcome back to the vlog today's video we are doing a pack and prep it's gonna be a multiple days video vlog i should say because we are going to be spending two weeks in mexico city which i'm so excited if you don't know um, i was born in mexico city my family most of my family lives in mexico city so we're going to go visit them it's the second time we go this year we went in january and unfortunately chris and i got sick during that trip so we weren't able to go sightseeing and visit a lot of the things that we wanted to do so hopefully this time around we are able to do that currently i'm at ulta because i just really have been wanting this curling iron i have currently the baby list pro one but i really want to get the ion bionic hopefully they have it i've been calling multiple ultas and they don't have it so this this is actually the one inch one i want to show you guys what i'm currently using i don't know if you guys can tell this is the baby list pro brand this is what I currently use to curl my hair, um, except in the 1.25. These are both one inches. I'm gonna get the 1.25 though, so let me go put this back. I love the TheraBreath mouthwash. I'm gonna try this one from Bioma. Bag is secured. Just got to the salon. getting my hair washed right now she's gonna put a treatment but i love this light because it makes my eyes look super hazy which i feel like looks really good Just got out of my hair appointment. Chris also got his hair cut. Um, but tomorrow, once I do my hair, like I curl it, I'll show you guys like a full look. I love it. This time we went a little more beige. She usually like does it a little more like grayish. And it'll eventually get to this color, but I didn't want to have like gray. I wanted it to be a little more like golden, a little more like beige. So that's what we went for. But let's go to the nail salon because my sister is waiting for me so let's go so i am at my parents now my sister is doing my nails we are she just took off the old ones we are doing gel x these are the nails that she always uses on me they are the absolute best they're a little sculpted because um i do like that like little sculpted look they're not like overly sculpted these are just like um a little softer which i love and these are the short ones in the shape almond we're also watching harry potter the goblet of fire it is my favorite movie out of all of the harry potter movies It is officially the day before our flight. 
we leave in less than 24 hours which is crazy like at this time tomorrow we should already be in mexico actually which is so crazy to say i think i totally forgot to show you guys my nails but they are so cute and i will insert a photo and my hair too um we definitely lightened it up a little bit and obviously brought it up because my roots were just showing like crazy right now we are on our way to target and to h&m we're doing some last minute shopping now hopefully we don't take more than like an hour or two because i have to go back and pack yesterday we packed christian stuff which is great because today i am filming like all my packing stuff so i needed to have that time that you know i can focus on that i also checked this in this morning and tell me why i forgot that my passport is at my parents house and i literally like was calling them no one was answering like hello answer the phone i need to check into my flight hopefully we get a good boarding group um apparently that depends on the time you check in like if you check in like super late then you will get like one of the last boarding groups unless you're like first class or stuff like that We just parked at the Target parking. So we need some batteries for the air tags. I think we might need two of these. Okay, so last time we were not that prepared in terms of like medication and we want to take some like Tylenol, like allergy stuff, Claritin. So we're gonna get some of that right now. Okay, you got the vapor up. What else? This is the, the pill. This is a pill, non drowsy motion sickness. Gonna pick up some heat protectant because I don't have this. Oh, I see you right now. Oh, I Two wet ones. Paper towels. This is a regular size one. So it's 3.40 p.m. I literally have to be asleep by 7 or like 8 p.m. or else I will most likely not wake up tomorrow. I am about to pack up. Those are all of my clothes right there. And yes, I am an overpacker. I just can't help it. But um, I have a weighing scale so I will definitely be weighing my stuff before we leave. And I already like separated them in sections. I did that yesterday just because I had to do laundry and I thought it would be a little boring for you guys to watch that so I just went ahead and did that. The lighting in this room is honestly not the best but I think this is like the best location in terms of lighting so it's where I'm gonna put you guys. We are going to Mexico City for two weeks so let's pack. See you later. This is the first time I get to use my base luggage and I'm stoked. And my man, thank you to my man, thank you to my man for getting me this because he knows I've been wanting this for a while. We got a ton of packing cubes so let's pack this up. We're going to use this packing cube. We are going to pack shirts and um, like tank tops in this one so let's do it. I swear packing cubes are literally like the best thing because you can pack so much and like it helps you stay super organized in my opinion and also like you can fit a lot with these packing cubes if you know you know like look at that that is like two four six eight ten shirts that all fit in this little tiny square and honestly i could probably fit more if i wanted to Second packing cube is going to be for my long sleeve tops. This one is going to be for my pants or jeans. Let's see if the jeans fit. If not, uh, we can definitely just do the pants. Honestly, I am kind of scared about the weather because my mom tells me that in Mexico it gets 
pretty, it's like pretty rainy during this season. Guys, it officially started raining. <laughs> we did not bring an umbrella. We're just here chilling. Just finished eating. We're heading back home now. But did you guys hear that? That was thunder. We don't get these things in LA. Like Found someone selling umbrellas, so we're here getting umbrellas. <laughs> No mansion. <laughs> how we ended up going to the Museum of Anthropologia and ended up soaking wet. And we wanted to change our trip if that was the case, but unfortunately we didn't buy insurance on our tickets, which we should have. But our ticket is like non-refundable, non-exchangeable, like yada yada yada. So um, yeah, we weren't able to do that. So we're just hoping that it doesn't rain while we're there. Okay, I think all of these might fit and I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of pants, which I know it's crazy, but we are going to be there for two weeks and we are planning to do a lot of sightseeing and things we just were not able to do last time in this pile i have some dresses two dresses actually i have this white dress and i'll insert a photo um and then i have this anthropology dress which i wore to a wedding i'll also insert a photo and then i have this like cute top which i wore to um a venue tour i got this for the last time we went to mexico but didn't actually wear it so if it's not rainy and if it's not too cold then i will wear this somewhere nice and then I have this um, kind of like, I don't know what you would call this, like jacket, sweater, cardigan from um, Zara. And I really, really like this. It is this like khaki suede like feel. I don't know if that's the correct fabric. And then the last thing I have right here is this like blazer, but it's like doesn't have any sleeves which is great if i'm wearing any like long sleeves and i want to pair it with these so taking that i was able to pack pretty much most of my clothes i still have to do my undergarments um shay included both of these this is the not basic and then this is the dirt bag but I think what I'm going to do is in the not basic one, I'm going to pack my undergarments because usually I pack them in this one. But I feel like I am taking a little more clothes than last time. So I'm going to pack it here. Socks. Honestly, I think I did pretty good. Look at that. Here. So I am going to be packing some skincare stuff, makeup, and just some miscellaneous like body stuff in these little baggies i got them from amazon i will link them down below this one says face but that one came in a pack with these four right here so you have hair you have stuff you have skin and then this one was an extra one this one is super soft like way softer than all of these i previously organized everything in these little bags because i was cleaning up my makeup hair shampoo heat protectant shampoo conditioners more travel shampoo and conditioners oribe travel shampoo and conditioner as well comb clips for when doing my hair little kerastase oil olaplex number three hair tie let's do skin stuff bioma moisturizing cream rose pose two bliss sunblocks makeup remover eye cream toothpaste niacinamide nail mucin trader joe's retinol serum tweezers little shaving thing here lip balm toothbrush let's do some stuff sunblock native soul de janeiro body wash children thoroughbred this bag is for a little stuff i'm taking on my personal item my little vitamin case little hairbrush i want to get the pink one contact lens solution got some more deodorant shout because i'm always making messes another little solid deodorant some vix vapor inhaler just in case hand sanitizer more hand sanitizer icebreakers these are my favorite it's the watermelon flavor and then charlotte tilbury um setting uh finish powder okay, so i am going to pack all of these tomorrow because i pretty much need 
a ton of these things to still get ready in the morning so i'm just gonna leave them out um and organized i have some stuff here i have to fix oh cannot forget my passport just brought in the carry-on i am going to stash a ton of things in here that i still need so this is what happens when you try to pack you have a ton of messes okay it is 6 p.m i'm pretty much done packing like i said the only thing i have left are all of these things which have to go in tomorrow but um so far both of these are not over um the weight limit something i do need to try though is check and see if my covers fit now i know i got a light colored luggage which is fine i knew what i was signing up for but i still want to protect it i've seen the plastic ones but i have heard some people on tiktok say that tsa took theirs off and never gave it back because it gets stuck on the conveyor belt so i ended up buying these um like fabric ones which are not the cutest i wish they had like some pink ones but they weren't gonna come on time but i'm gonna try and see if this will fit in here i don't know which one is which i have a feeling this might be for this one honestly i don't know i don't even know what to oh this is for this one yeah i think this one should fit it off like the plastic ones i did buy both but if they do end up taking them off at the airport i will cry because then this will get super dirty and the only reason why i like got this color was because one i love this color but two because people were saying they were able to travel with the plastic things so so it is now 9 40. that is wait actually 9 48 that is the update i have for you guys um i literally showered i waited a little bit while i was doing that i had to run um some laundry for something we got today and um i was packing some of chris's stuff that i totally forgot about um and i needed to move them from the carry-on to the main suitcase check-in one because they were not going to pass through tsa so i had to make some changes and um i had to fix my luggage because um it was like 40 pounds and we still have like 10 pounds give or take but you know i just always like to have a little more space um or like weight to it just in case um i'm supposed to be up at like 1 40 um because we have to get up get ready i'm gonna film a tiktok tomorrow and i have to go pick up well we have to go drive to my parents my dad's gonna take us in my car and we have to drive to the airport which is like 30 to 40 minutes i guess at that time like three o'clock in the morning we have to be there at four so i have to comb my hair and everything so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna go braid my hair and then go to sleep because i am hoping and praying i wake up tomorrow because i've done that before where i subconsciously turn off my alarm let's see if i wake up thank you guys so much for watching of course i forgot to do an outro but don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video